My name is Stevie Matthew, and today I'll be teaching you how to use pivot tables in Microsoft Excel. I'm going to be using Excel 2007 for Windows, so if you use a different version, the steps might be slightly different, but the concepts are the same. I'm using a spreadsheet I downloaded from data.gov. You can get the same one at this URL. If you're not already familiar with data.gov, check out our tutorial on it to learn more about how we got this data. A pivot table is a tool for summarizing information. You can use pivot tables to do a number of things with your data, including counting occurrences of data, calculating percentages, and performing other mathematical functions. The spreadsheet I'm using details US foreign aid. Our first step would be to add a new field totaling how much money each country gets. To do this, hover over the column headers, right click, and select Insert. Let's name this column Total. Highlight just the first empty cell in this column and type an equal sign. That tells Excel that we're making a formula. Then type SUM or SUM, which tells Excel that we want the sum of two or more cells. The name of the cells need to go in parentheses so type an open parenthesis. We're going to sum a range of cells, starting with D2. To indicate that we want to cover a range, type a colon, and then the final cell of the range, which in our case is BP2. Then finish the formula with a closing parenthesis. We are now telling Excel to add all of the cells from cell D2 through cell BP2 and put the resulting figure in this cell. Now we want to copy this formula to all of the other rows. You can do this by hovering your cursor over the lower right corner of this cell and you'll see a plus sign. Double click and Excel will copy the sum formula into the entire column. Remember to save your data. Next, we'll create our pivot table. Select Insert and click Pivot Table. In the resulting dialog box, select the option to place the pivot table in a new sheet and then click OK. You should now be in a new sheet, but you can always go back to the first sheet that contains your data by navigating the tabs near the bottom of your screen. If you're using Excel 2008 on a Mac, you'll first select the data you want to use in your pivot table. Then you're going to go to View, then Toolbars, and then click Pivot Table. That brings up a Pivot Table toolbar that allows you to click on Pivot Table to find the wizard. Let's look at the different types of US programs that gave aid to other countries in 2009. In the pivot table box, drag the program name field into the row labels box. You will see that the name of each program is now in its own row in the pivot table. Next, drag the fiscal year 2009 field into the values box. Make sure you're asking Excel for a sum rather than a count for this step. Here we're looking for a total dollar figure for each program, not a count of the number of programs. Now we can select various functions. To see the US programs that have given the most aid in 2009, select the drop down menu and go to Value Filters. Select Top 10. This will show you the top 10 most expensive programs in alphabetical order. To sort them by cost, select More Sort Options and change the field we're sorting from program name to sum of fiscal year 2009. To put this in descending order, select descending Z2A. Now we can see that the Economic Support Fund gave the most money in 2009 at more than 7 billion. Next, let's change the format of the numbers to make them easier to read. Since these are dollar figures, let's put them in that format. Right-click on the name of the column and select Format Cells. We can choose Currency on the left side of the dialog box that just popped up. Over on the right, let's change it to zero decimal places because none of our data includes cents. And in the Symbol drop-down menu, we can choose English United States. 
Click OK. Now that should be easier to read. It's also good to note that if you want to remove something in your pivot table, click on it in the field list and select Remove Field. Another useful function is the count. This will let us add up the number of programs by country rather than the sum of the spending. To do this, drag country name to the row labels box and then drag fiscal year 2009 into the values box. Right click on sum of fiscal year 2009. Select summarize data by and select count. This will show how many records there are for each country. Let's reformat this column because we're not dealing with currency anymore. There is a count of 12 for Afghanistan, meaning Excel has counted 12 USAID programs that donated to Afghanistan in 2009. Next, let's work with percentages. Place the program name in the row label box and then place fiscal year 2009 in the values box. Right click on the fiscal year 2009 column and select summarize data by. Then select more options. In the resulting dialog box, click the Show Values As tab, and in the drop-down menu, select Percent of Total. Now let's rank the percents to see the highest. We can see that out of all the foreign aid the U.S. gave in 2009, the largest chunk was given out by the Economic Support Fund at about 20%, and the next largest chunk was given out through the Global Health and Child Survival Fund at about 18%. We also can add a field to the pivot table for calculations we want to do by hand. Let's say we want to calculate what percent of all aid given since 1949 was handed out in 2009. Drag the country name field to the row labels box and fiscal year 2009 and total to the values box. Now create a new column to the right of sum of total. Let's call the new field percent. We need to enter a calculation here. To determine the percentage, let's type equal sign B5 slash C5 and hit enter. Remember, the equal sign tells Excel to expect a formula. Dividing the 2009 numbers by the total will give us the percent of 2009 aid when compared to the total. Use the plus sign to copy that formula all the way down. Let's reformat this column to show us percentages by right-clicking on percent, selecting format cells, and changing the decimals so the percentages are more readable. We can now see that the amount of U.S. aid given to Afghanistan in 2009 was 19% of all U.S. aid given to that country since 1949. And 1949 is the earliest year provided in this data. Finally, let's compare how much money was given to Afghanistan in the year 2000 before the U.S. invaded the country and compare that to the amount of money in 2009. Drag the fiscal year 2009 field into the values box to see that in 2009, the U.S. gave Afghanistan more than $3 billion in grants. Now drag fiscal year 2000 into the values box. To see that in 2000, Afghanistan received about $54 million in U.S. grants. This concludes our session on using Microsoft Excel to make pivot tables. To learn more, visit sunlightfoundation.com.